moving into like certain places like that's like going out in the boonies in amazon or something like speaking of amazon yo you guys you guys got crushed today man lex luther you guys you guys i'm in toronto sir um major according to toronto news um ctv news or yeah ctv news ctv um, news yeah um, major Amazon warehouse ordered to close in Brampton, Ontario, due to COVID nineteen outbreak inside. Ooh, so um, yep. Um, a large Amazon fulfillment, fulfillment center in Brampton has been ordered to cease all operations, and all workers must self isolate as a part as an ongoing Peel public health investigation into COVID nineteen cases inside. Um, mm-hmm. apparently, um, 240 confirmed cases have been reported in the recent weeks of those 10 screen positive for a variant of concern. So they don't even know the variant, I think just a variant of concern. Oh, I, so, <laughs> Lord, oh. um, Dr. Lawrence Lowe said that 617 of the 5,000 workers at the fulfillment center has tested positive for COVID-19 since October. Guys, that's over 10%. That's a lot of, that's a lot of people. No. That's a lot of people, yo. That's a... The one thing you got to think about is it's Amazon and everybody's yeah. on Amazon Prime. For the, so yeah. you're shipping out packages with COVID and not even knowing that you're shipping out packages with COVID. I mean, I don't know what the contagion, like how it, how contagious it is, because it changes from time to time. Mm-hmm. At first, it says this is contagious. First, it's airborne, then it's this, then it's that. I don't know. Because so, remember, remember, they said something back about the, how long it stays on the surface. Yeah. So it's like, I wonder, I wonder how the vari- the new variants work. Is it like longer on the surface, shorter? They didn't really. They don't need to open through that. I don't know. They, I just don't went, know. they just went remix. And then all of a sudden it's like, <laughs> all of a sudden it's Brazil. Boom, 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 boom. UK. Boom, 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 boom. Yo. South Africa. Mm, 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 mm. Caribbean, it was apparently. Like, it was like a one, like different variants, like the one blood remix. It was like a, <laughs> like, <laughs> like there's a lot of remixing right now. Like Beer remix of the COVID sitting, yo. Just COVID America, COVID UK, COVID jamaica covid us covid you know what i mean remember back in the day when um atlanta was like booming booming and like every other art it, it feels like atlanta booming right now in terms of viruses i think like, atlanta's still booming though but like, but like atlanta's that, so booming they don't they still turn it up with covid around it's like, they, they ain't gonna stop close. us yeah those clubs are packed at people looking at their phones still but they're saying it's because of the climate or something. I don't know. Or just just society over there. Because they were it. just like, nope. We need these hair stores open. These these help the government. We need the hair stores open. They didn't close nothing. No, nothing, yeah, nothing's really closed. Like, and nothing at all, man. Like, clubs are still open there. Um, yeah, barbershop salons. Nothing not closed, man. They what would not we, lock up nowhere, boy. Yeah, boy. That's, that's what, exactly what they said. And um, uh, what would you think about? It? That's why Bobby Schmurda went down there. If you really think about it, mm-hmm. he took off, and that's where he is. But um, it's great to hear. Not it's great to hear that he's out. That's one free. Glad Bobby's out. Um, but um. When it comes to like the Amazon store locking down, Amazon yeah. warehouse locking down, I'm like, hey, I mean, it's obvious. Like COVID mm-hmm. is still running around. Yeah, it's not fun. And you know, imagine all the other people you cross contaminated at their doorstep. That part, people are yeah. thinking that's the safest way. The safest. Well, there's all these safest way. You know what I mean? People are getting food, leave it at the doorstep. Amazon's leaving it at the doorstep. They're not. You know what I mean? Yeah. They do, they do. They just, they leave it at the doorstep, take a picture, and they just back in the vehicle. Just, they, they cut. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, and tell you the truth, that's some of people's new job now. You know what I mean? Some people are like, you know what? I, I can't find any more money. It's hard for me to work right now. I'm going to do the 
I'm gonna do the carrier service, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna do the carrier service, and then I just go from there. Right. So, I would say that's just the way to go right now, because you know, I mean, there's all these different series. There's different like different um, what's it called? There's different services, basically. You know what I mean? Skip the dishes bumped up a bit because everybody's delivering at Skip the Dishes. You have Uber Eats. Everybody's, it's carrier services, a new wave right now. So, hey, Amazon is definitely going to be taking a hit. Um, a lot of people's packages are going to be delayed. There's nothing you can really do about that. I mean. Wait, you, th- you think there's going to hit them? Or is it going to be like, eh? There's going to be like, ah, it's whatever. It's probably not going to hit them, hit them, but like there's going to be a lot of delays that they probably, let's just say, a lot of people know. that canceled packages are probably getting their free package back there. You know what I mean? Because they're going to have all these packages that back order. Or it's already saying it's in the it's in delivery and like lock off. Yep. Can they, I, wonder if they, I wonder if they can do that though. Like, I don't know if they can do that. Oh, okay. Probably. Probably, but I wouldn't really know. I wouldn't really know about how their protocol is. Um, you know, I, I wonder how it goes for them. I, since I don't know if carrier services deem essential, but well, no, like, they, they definitely are. Yeah. Well, I guess what's going to be the priorities for vaccines? You know what I mean? James, what is going to be that? Purpose? You and me both know they ain't getting no damn. They ain't getting no needle. They're just, they're just, they're just not, man. The, the the <laughs> you know, like, no, to be fair, like the responsibility of the company to be like, okay, you guys, we're going to pay time off, pay time off. No one's paying time off. So they'll probably be like, oh, yeah, you guys just get tested and just get back to work. That's what's going to happen. It's, it's gonna be... Now, allegedly, from what I read about that, too, um, when situations like this happen, they're put back on temp casual or like season peak as, as people say it. Mm-hmm. and then that happens that happens in general because if things go slow it's like we don't need to be paying all these people so we're just going to put them in peak casual and it's kind of just or so they just pick their top guys yeah instead of you doing 10 packages a day now you're doing 30 a day you yeah. can't say none we're not even going to tell you why you're just going to have to do it you're going to have to do it yeah. cram you in and they're gonna basically they're throwing out throwing you out there to swim. That's they'll throw you out there to swim and it's like who's swimming? Who's making it? Who's mm-hmm. making the shore? Throw more weight on them and call it a day. You know allegedly. I mean? And uh but yeah, like that's hey, I don't know how that's gonna work, but that's just a tough situation right there. Um 